Good afternoon, everyone. It's good to see you back from lunch. Um, you have attended a very interesting morning session. I think many of you were there. You've heard a lot of talk about technology. And this afternoon, the next session is also going to be about technology. But before I introduce the speakers and I ask you know, them to talk about um, the different perspectives on the use of technology for their classrooms, I'd like us to just you know, step back a bit and review the theme of this summit, which is the future of education. So I think this is a good time to focus on the word education and what it means to apply and use technologies in education. So you're going to hear from the different speakers um, their different experiences. But uh, by way of introduction, allow me to just say a few things, uh, my own perspectives about education. One of the things I learned about education is that the root word for education, a Latin root word, and I'm not sure if I can pronounce it correctly, is educare, which means to draw out. To draw out something from a child and from a youth. People who come to us to learn. In order to educate them, we have to draw something out of them. But to draw something out of them as a teacher, as an instructor, a professor, we also have to be able to provide the right kind of environments. Um, not just physical environments, not just the tools, but also in the way the teacher, the instructor, professor mediate the learning through the way we interact with our students. So in order to draw out some of these, these um, you know, the, the strengths of the students, the knowledge and get them to co-create uh, knowledge and so on, technology has always been a help. And as I said there, I reflected back, you know, cast my mind back to a long time ago about technology, and we saw some of the things that were flashed on the screen today. Um, technology was very simple in the past, to us now at least. You think about the invention of paper, that was technology. The invention of a pencil, that in itself is technology. But if you put a piece of paper in front of a child and a pencil in front of a child and not teach the child, the technology is not going to be of any use. The child will just pick up a pencil and a piece of paper and will not learn to write unless the child is taught how to write. And that is only the beginning. So by using simple technology in the past, such as a pencil and paper that have been printed, we can teach a child to write. But that is just a first step because the child will go on to write different kinds of things. It will draw out different things from the child. It will draw out the, the feelings from a child, the ideas from a child. It will draw out um, concepts that the child may have learned from each other. Because the child knows how to write, the child will be able to write out some of these things. But we will write a composition, the child may be able to write something, but we, then this child will grow up to be an adult. A child, an adult, an individual who can use literacy with the help of technology, simple technology, to express themselves, to write poetry, to write a, a treatise on demo, uh, democracy, to write down mathematical formula to put people onto the moon. So if we cast our minds back, technology has helped. But what is important is the kind of learning environment that is created, the kind of skills, the kind of knowledge that an instructor, a teacher, or professor can, can impart. Um, we also heard from uh, one of the speakers today in passing about the important skills that learners have to develop to be future ready. And I think we all agree that there are at least four kinds of skills. Um, critical thinking, ability to communicate, to collaborate, and to be creative, the four Cs. Oh, this was mentioned briefly. Right? So today, our speakers are going to talk about what we can do to create an environment to help our learners collaborate. Because it is in collaborating that I believe that there's going to be a lot of thinking, a lot of communication, talk, critical thinking, as well as creativity that will be generated. So without um, delaying this any further, I have the pleasure of inviting our first speaker, Professor Naomi Lobia from LKC School of Medicine, NTU, to talk to us. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you. 